Hello everyone and welcome to Naturally High, the channel that helps you grow your 4A, 4B and especially 4C hair to longer lengths. You may be wondering why my hair looks like this. Basically, I've just tried something new and I've decided to film the introduction before taking these out simply because if this doesn't look good, then the intro is not gonna look good. But Sorry. I expect it to turn out quite well. And the reason is that this is actually a collaboration between me, Naturally High, and Efficiently Natural. If you haven't heard of Efficiently Natural, then you should check her out. She is literally black Rapunzel. Her hair, I think, reaches past her bum or something, and it's proper long. Uh, so if you wanna see really long, forcey hair and very well structured, but also chatty content that's very well organized, then you should check out her channel. She's also going to try out my braid out technique. So if you want to see how she does it then you can check the link in the description box and I do hope you enjoy it. The comments you left under my last video in which I styled my loose twists on my wash day really warmed my heart. I was delighted to see that so many of you actually prefer the sort of chatty style to a more structured scripted video but I must say that chatty videos are much more annoying to edit because sometimes I might just ramble on about something and that needs to be edited out so I'm going to go for a sort of hybrid between structured and chatty and try not to be too chatty and I really do appreciate your feedback thank you so much. So basically Nancy of Efficiently Natural and I each agreed to pick one of each other's tutorials and uh, just try it out in a video so that's what we're doing and we just wanted it to be a very relatable type video. I've picked her banding technique and I was pretty concerned about this. Um, it's something that I've definitely seen all over YouTube and um, on other forums back in the day uh, like long hair care forum and that kind of thing where people would stretch their hair with bands but I had always been averse to it and there were two main reasons for that. First was that I thought that there would be breakage around the elastic just from the tension between the elastic and my hair and the second was that I thought that because the hair isn't as detangled because you're essentially stretching loose hair then I thought that maybe my hair would be knotty afterwards. So those were the two main reasons why I didn't want to try it, but seeing someone like Efficiently Natural, who has a gorgeous, very long mane do it, definitely reassured me that it's something that I could try on my own hair. Uh, so that's why I did it. And um, I slept with my hair like this last night. And now I'm just going to explain what I did last night so you know how it got to this state. And um, then I'll show you me taking it out as well. I also want to tell you what I did um, and adapted from her technique. So for example, in her technique, she uses aloe vera juice, but because I'm a broke student and can't afford luxuries like aloe vera juice, I used just water. She also used coconut oil as a sealant, uh, but as many of you know, I don't actually like the way my hair feels after I put coconut oil in it. I tend to only like coconut oil as a pre-poo because then it gets washed out. Otherwise, it tends to make my hair a bit rubbery, a bit stiff, and actually um, sometimes a bit breakage prone. So I, yeah, I don't use coconut oil. So instead of that, I actually used um, some castor oil on the ends. Another thing she does differently is she uses a roll of elastic but I'm using elastic bands that I bought from my local beauty supply. And she also starts with a braid out, but I start out with this. And what's this, you might ask? Uh, basically, I loosened my week old twists using a bit of olive oil and my hair was quite stretched. I went to a System of a Down concert and I wanted a rock star look. And I think that loosening these week old twists definitely gave me the look I wanted. Uh, if you're following me on Instagram then you'll know that I went to the System of a Down concert. I didn't make a vlog because the people in my life really appreciate their privacy so you may have noticed on my Instagram I'm always by myself. It's not because I'm actually by myself, it's because I'm with other people who don't want their pictures all over the internet. So <laughs> unfortunately that also means I can't really vlog um, but that's okay so I, I didn't vlog. After the concert itself, I stretched my hair using my usual um, 10 minute technique, which nowadays takes about three or four minutes. I just do French plaits on each side. You can check up here to see how I do that. But last night was when I did this. So these 
it's kind of a two day old semi twist out but from old twists so I thought it would be a good state to test it in. Right so now all of that's out of the way you know what I did differently you know how my hair got to the loose state let's have a look at how I styled my hair and got it like this. So the first thing I'm doing is applying some water since my hair is parched as ever. I'm following up with my all time favourite leave-in conditioner. I'm not detangling my hair now and you may be curious why. Uh, that's because since I'm not stretching in plaits I don't want to lose my clumps. Um, so my hair is already clumped based on the twists that I had in it previously and I don't want to end up with frizz instead of the clumps. Um, so. I'm not detangling it. Remember I've never done this before so I'm just assuming that if I stretch my hair and it's completely unclumped then it's not going to give me the same structure that I want as in the individual clumps from the twists. I just used these massive elastic bands that I got from a local beauty supply shop. I wrapped them round the roots going down the length of my hair. <laughs> I ended up using about four elastic bands per section and I had four sections on my head in total. I must say I did observe a bit of breakage when installing the bands and since I normally do French plaits at night without agitating my hair so much, this was surprising. Now I'm simply covering my hair with a turban in preparation for bed. Now it's the next morning and I must also say that because these sections jut out from the scalp they were much more uncomfortable to sleep on than my usual French plaits and they also took a bit longer to do but anyway now I'm really excited to loosen them so let's go to the bathroom and we'll take them out now. <laughs> Software version 7.0 Looking at life through the eyes of a tired heart Eating seeds is the best You want a chatty? I'm going to give you chatty. Now that I've taken my bands out and I can see what my hair looks like after being stretched, I can tell you what I think of this technique. So the first thing I definitely noticed was that I wasn't expecting very much definition to be left from the elastic bands themselves but I was very surprised to see that in taking my hair out the elastic bands sort of left little dents in the um, sections and that gave uh, some added definition so I quite like that. I also like that it didn't take away from the clumps that I already had and that's probably in part because I didn't detangle my hair so it's still nicely clumped in its little sections from where the twists were. But something I definitely noticed was that I got a lot of breakage whilst taking the bands out as well. So they wrapped round my hair a bit and then when I was pulling them out there was just a bit of snapping. It wasn't too much but because I'm not used to getting any breakage from undoing my two plaits, I was a bit disappointed to get some breakage. I imagine it's also in part due to the fact that I used elastic bands and not just one stretch of elastic. So if I try this again, then I'll just order a roll of elastic and use it in the same way that Nancy does. Something else that I can tell from this technique is that the roots don't get um, as defined as the rest of the hair because you stretch Obviously you pull the hair like so, and then you stretch from around here, so all of this area doesn't get stretched. Um, and I think that this could be adapted slightly, so you could plait from here, just to do like a French plait, and maybe do it adapted. So you could stretch the roots in that way and then band to the ends, and that way you should get definition from roots to end. But obviously if you want definition from the very roots, then I don't think you'll get that using this technique. What I can definitely appreciate about this technique is that it's very 
friendly to people who have difficulty doing French plaits. So you literally just have to wrap bands around your hair and it's quite easy to learn. So I, I quite like that. My hair also still has a lot of movement and um, it's definitely nicely stretched. So I'm happy with how it looks. But I must say, as it is now, I don't think I would repeat it with the elastic bands. I would definitely use the roll. So that concludes this video. I shall leave a bit of footage from the concert I went to the other night so you can just have a look at System of a Down in case you like them. Check out Nancy, her videos are fantastic. She's so creative and she does all kinds of things with her gorgeous 4C natural hair. Um, she's very much into long-term protective styles and she does a lot with twists. So again, if you want somebody else that you can look to for 4C hair advice, you can also check her out. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different video and do let me know again, um, because this is also chatty, whether you prefer this style to my classic scripted video style, which I'll also link on the end screen. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like and share this with your friends and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.